Hey there, sign of Leo. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This is going to be your next 48 hour reading. Thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for likes, shares, subscribes. Quick announcement. I am going to be offering, I know I keep saying this soon, but I will have um, memberships up soon for learning tarot and, um, and, uh, and other things, just videos that are going to be membership only. And that is not come out yet, but it will, and I'll have a video. So let's get right into your reading, though, what we're here for, right? Asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us so that we get messages for the sign of Leo. Clear and concise for us, spirit. Please. Clear and concise as can be. Um, I have I have lit some sage, but you know what? Let's light some more. Protect your energy, Leos. Protect your energy. Double protect your energy if you have to. Right now, the Schumann resonance is really, really high. The heartbeat, you could say, of um, the vibration of like the earth. It's uh, There's some stuff that's going on that's just making it to where it can feel really anxious. So I guess my biggest message is, Please protect your energy um, and uh, and meditate if if you can meditate if you take a few minutes out of each day just to at least breathe check in and do some breathing exercises for um, that's a really great way to make yourself feel better throughout the day to deal with these energies. Okay, so asking that Leo's angels and spirit guides come in, give us energy, information for their next 48 hours, and whenever really they feel like the messages could resonate for them. All right. One more time. Leo, feeling like we can do it one more time. Cut the deck and then we'll be ready here. Bottom of the deck. Dun dun dun. Ten of water with um with the Buddha and, and the statue of Buddha with his belly. Um because all this abundance and all this treasure can be found within um in your core getting down to the core of you all this abundance is within you long lasting happiness finding the peace and the happiness that you can always uh decide upon each day too that's what's coming across whoa good okay okay all right Hmm. Goodness. But yet the ten of water. What is going on? Okay, so that's, that's why we do these readings to figure out what's going on. There is somebody, I guess you're waiting for somebody to communicate back with you or for you to to receive some kind of communication. And well, haven't haven't yet. Now there is something that we are. Um, the challenge is to move away from heart. So it's it's feeling like like we're wanting to reinvent ourselves. Um, 
or coming back to something that was um, a really storm. It's almost like returning back to a stormy time. I don't know why necessarily, but the three of earth here in the reverse makes me feel like you feel kind of alone um, or like you're like the people that you thought should have been around you have have dissipated um the people you thought would always support you um aren't or i mean it can it, it doesn't have to if that doesn't resonate with everybody okay it can also be like <clears throat> maybe something just hasn't even gotten the groundwork laid down yet you know what i mean like it's so maybe that's and maybe that's just another message with the card within the card is that um there's something that we feel all alone in fighting in fighting for because i see the justice card here so this could be Gemini, this six of air is in the reverse, and this is about, that's why I, I feel like it's about returning back to something that was kind of a stormy time, but it's returning back changed, returning back changed. Um, three earth in the reverse feeling, um, so Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy, justice in the reverse. I, I don't, I'm almost getting that the, the scales have been tilted to a balance. They have been balanced. Meaning, Leo, that what I'm feeling is that like karma or whatever has happened in between the Ten of Swords energy, but whenever that actually affected us, this in the reverse um, or whenever we cause that upon somebody else because we're getting out of the energy of that lying, cheating, stealing, deceptive energy. Okay, so we're getting, we're moving away from that energy. And now the truth is going to be kind of exposed on how things are balanced. So your karma has built up. You've reinvented yourself. You're changing the outcome already of many different things in your life because I feel like you've even tipped the scales um, here in the past energy as far as like making up for something because I, I have the Knight of Cups uh, or Messenger of Water in the reverse. That's kind of making me feel like somebody is not wanting to accept your cup of love that you've offered. Maybe you've offered an apology. Maybe you've tried to mend something and it's not going so well or this might be somebody else that's trying to offer something to you that you're like no no thanks i'm waiting on some different news it can be that um and and we certainly are waiting on news right now that's mainly what this is about we have um competitive energy with the five of fire as the outcome it's it's a really fiery energy it's 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 not um it's like one step towards your victory you know what i'm saying it's like right there it's like you can taste it and you're game you know what i mean you're not playing silly games but you game your game all in there's something that has been on a repeat cycle over and over and over and over and over represented by this page of earth something never even gets going or mature because it gets repeated and cycled over and over and over um i feel like it might have to do with now the love that you show yourself because see this ten of water is here as underlying everything i i feel like there's i feel like that's what's saying is that what that's saying is that after everything is said and done there's still this peace that Leo has found within themselves that they can access whenever they want, no matter what situation you put them in. And the Queen of Water is saying that, yeah, you did this. You did this. You took care of yourself. You've loved yourself. You've showed yourself nothing but unconditional self-love. And you've been listening to your body also 
um, it's really coming across to me as you've been listening to your body, you've been taking cues uh, for your health, watching what we put into our bodies, learning more about what our health is about and how we do it, how we handle it. Loving ourselves, choosing to approve of ourselves, and then look. We approve of ourselves no matter what we have to go through. It, You'll get um, whatever, you know, you don't search for approval to get it. You just simply approve of yourself, and then it follows. <sighs> but, like I said, there could be some people that aren't still with you, and here we might feel like kind of... I don't know, almost like the energy of being like somebody's deserted us in a sense. And it could be metaphorically. It can be talking metaphorically. So let's go ahead and get um, some clarifying cards. Although, I mean, I really, I think there's more information that you need. <laughs> this, probably, this just about sums up your reading. I mean, I don't know if we even have to do clarifying. You need more information. Some of the things you hear are not correct. And... This Queen of Cups here, this is like when somebody is being knocked off their throne because they're not showing themselves enough love. And so there may be a really big change that has transformed either you or somebody else here. Um, it's you, though. This is in the you spot, this Queen of Water. Let's go ahead and get a clarifying card. Um, what are we trying to reinvent? What are we trying to reinvent? Trying to get a hold on our emotions, the way that we handle our emotions and not getting too worked up over some of the details. It's reminding me of like, don't get too upset if sometimes you end up having to do something a little bit different. Look, you're just, you might just miss out on some rare Loch Ness monster sighting right here. <laughs> You may just miss out on something really big. Um, so this is reinventing the way that you act and appear to others. Um, that is what that's about then. This three of earth, I think that the way we need to ask the question is, um, why does Leo feel so alone? Why does Leo feel so alone three of earth in the reverse? Why does Leo feel alone? Why does Leo feel alone? <laughs> Waiting on news and taking things way too seriously. <laughs> we may be taking things way too seriously. Um, there may be a, a need to be a little bit more playful while we wait on news possibly so whatever this is that you're waiting on a brand it's a brand new beginning of some sort that we're waiting on um we're waiting to be freed from a situation Somebody is with that messenger of water in the reverse. Somebody is wanting to be freed from a situation. What's the messenger of water in reverse about? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So apologies for how somebody acted when they weren't taking really good care of themselves. When maybe they weren't doing the best things. Like whatever they did, it caused them to be thrown off their throne, right? So it's like an apology for when somebody was, you know, somebody got completely plastered and did something really wrong. There you go. There's the apology for that. That's not going to work with this situation. I don't know why, but it's not going to work with this situation. Messenger of water in the reverse and the queen of cups, basically in reverse. So... News gets better when you start, which you are, showing yourself more love. If you just can't make up immediately, you know, for something that maybe happened. Um, apologizing for behavior, whatever that is about. I, I feel like it's about something like that. So you're definitely waiting on news. Seven air. I said this was like your, your ability to think clearly. 
um, like towards a solution because because it's the ability to see deceptivity or um, a lie or something or or whatever it is is getting out of that shady energy. Seven of air in the reverse. Yeah. There was an there was a time it's it's feeling like there was a time when more interest the Empress was giving more interest in self instead of what was around her. Um and seeing through whatever deception they thought was what the, you know, so unhealthy Empress energy. Um but nonetheless a need to focus on self and not being not definitely not being deceptive to who you are this might be a capricorn energy really interested in themselves too selfish because i have capricorn here on the bottom uh but this is like beating your um addictions your vices See, we have the devil is the one chained up. Hmm. Capricorn energy restricting. Eight of earth in the reverse, two of fire. Well, five of fire is in the, I mean, fire earth is in the reverse. So this is good. I mean, this is all inclusive here. So what it feels like is all inclusive. You're gonna have lasting happiness no matter what. What am I doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to look for a so we can use these. These cards are kind of really messed up, but <laughs> I still use them. Okay, let's clarify the um, Empress energy here. Five of Swords conflict but stand up for yourself and there's your drive your motivation and try to think of this this way you've got many more possibilities than just what you see so a queen of wands standing up for oneself and and fighting the good fight i feel like that means fighting the good fight taking care of yourself and fighting the good fight i'm gonna put these back Okay, so let's clarify what is this communication or lines of communication that need to be opened? What's that about? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing's coming out, so it's a sign. Uh, let's see here. What is the Eight of Fire in the reverse about? Is that the Queen of Wands? The King of Wands. About something, trying to get, oh, it's the King of Wands. So, uh, Leo, that's your energy. And I think it's about how to proceed with building something or laying the groundwork. How can we deal with this Empress energy like this? Wow. Dealing with the Empress energy that is like that. Okay, we're going to have to release any kind of heartache, third party situation, any kind of past poor judgment that led to some heartache and some sorrow. We got to let go of those past decisions it was a time when we weren't really stable we weren't focused um and we weren't focused definitely on what needed to be the truth or the priority you know to prioritize basically and we weren't protective over anything because we're because it's like you made a mistake you were a mess during this time and then here the king of cups in the reverse is also like there was bad decisions made Poor judgment call when we weren't in control of our emotions and now it's like wishes granted having focused on self 
and kept yourself good and loved yourself with the Queen of Water. I think it's saying to forgive yourself of past mistakes. And there's a wish granted coming in too. What kind of news is this with the Page of Wands? What kind of news is this? Page of Cups, hopeful new beginnings. See, hopeful new beginnings. Let's clarify the Queen of Water here for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Water. I have the star in the reverse and the hermit in the reverse. Okay, so going elsewhere, going somewhere else other than the actual source of the issue or problem, and we ended up disappointing in that sense. So because of not loving ourselves as much as we could, that's what led to a lot of bad decisions and bad um yeah, well, judgment call, a disappointment in somebody, Aquarius or Virgo energy, possibly Cancer energy here. What is this? Um, I feel like this is a cycle, the page of Earth in the reverse. Let's repeat. What is this about? This page of, okay, being decisive and, and there's Queen of Cups again, letting love, and I don't say that lightly, letting love decide the next few steps. Five of Fire. Let's pull from the double majors. What's the five of fire about? Hmm. What is going to be revealed? Possibly child, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy too. What is to be revealed? Um, or maybe what is hidden is what is um, actually being... Um, like what it what the conflict is about temperance is here and it's remember i don't take reversals so with this one so um this is making the impossible possible and helping temper anger and making uh yeah making this this the situation dealable with this temperance energy sagittarius energy leo energy pisces energy clarify the queen of water and there's the empress now taking care of themselves and then being able to care for others and it's it's kind of like cementing that solidifying that as long as you're taking care of yourself then you'd be able to take care of others what is working for you what is not working and then you can see what needs to be changed if something needs to be changed okay five of Wands and the temperance. Um, I have good news energy, and I definitely have. Okay, I have the good news card, and then I have the seven of cups as being like um, seeing clearly now that some things that maybe we are upset for ourselves for, or I mean, just bad, poor decisions from the past was seeing that there was something we weren't seeing clearly there. There is good news about that situation, whatever that means to you. There is good news about that situation. Change is coming. Hopeful new beginning. Hopeful new beginning. Change is coming. All right, so let's get, um, let's get an oracle card for you. Let's wrap up your reading. Not bad. Abundance coming in. Abundance coming in. If you believe with the Merkaba, if you believe, reconsider. Reconsider with the Sword of Truth and then perfect timing. Perfect timing. And of course, divine timing with that temperance always, right? Okay, this is the um, Oracle of Genetic Gifts. I'm going to pull that from this one, too. <laughs> Author, spiritual experiences, guidance, and healing. Author, spiritual experiences, guidance, and healing. 
Aura Reader, Advisor, Photographer, and Energy Reader. I have YouTube Platform, Spiritual Callings, Portal Keeper, 3D to 5D Ascension Fulfillment. Akashic Records, All Souls Universal Events, Past, Present, and Future. Meditation Teacher, Teach, Heal, and Wellness. Okay. And we're going to pull something from the angel number messages. I have 12. I am a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I'm a visionary. And then there we go. Eight, eight. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring you financial and material abundance into your life. And that is what I've got for you from that. I'm going to pull an affirmation card or I've got it mixed affirmations with um, Gaia Revealed. So we'll just pull something from that. Okay. <laughs> Seems like enough. Um, 10. Add more play into your life. Dolphins and whales. The dolphins and whales are a special part of the living portions of the crystalline grid of Gaia. They see you as family and that is why you love them so much. Know that I am loved. I am dearly loved and surrounded by love. I mean something to others and I exist for a reason. My relationships are a correct, appropriate part of God's plan. Um, eternal peace. My guides, angels, and God are always with me. So that finding peace is never more than a heartbeat away. I am eternal peace. And 24, known by Gaia. As you live on planet Earth, Gaia and the entire system of the Creator knows that you knows you are here and you are known and loved beyond measure. That's what I've got. Sending you love and light. Bye, Leo.